think so Rickland what what on earth do you mean how do you classify proxy and allies are you implying the Houthis uh, can say no to your yeah 100% the Houthis can say no to the Iranians 100% Rickland the Houthis Yemen Iran does not dictate to them what they must do they don't right Ukraine is a proxy war Ukraine does exactly what United States tells them to do end the fucking story all that bullshit that you hear oh the Ukrainians made their own decisions of what was happening what they were going to do bullshit bullshit from day one from 2014 coup it was the United States that was dictating what was going to happen in Ukraine Newland phone call on the Maidan coup saying fuck the EU and deciding who's going to become the leader in Ukraine from day one United States has been dictating exactly what's going to happen with Ukraine and what they're going to do that's a proxy Iran does not have the power over Yemen Yemen does what Yemen wants to do right Iran will support them if they agree with it Iran will give them technology Iran will help them build their underground bases and build missiles and stuff like this but Iran does not tell them what to do that's the difference between allies and proxies right has north of Israel Hezbollah uh, Hezbollah does what Hezbollah wants but Hezbollah Iran has way more influence in uh, with Hezbollah than Iran has with uh, Yemen right uh, so how do you know the Iranians aren't dictating because they're not they're not they never have Iran Iran has never dictated to any of its allies what they must do they have meetings they may disagree they some may do or not that being said if Iran is attacked if Iran is attacked this whole region will explode every single Iranian ally that they have will attack every Western country or any individuals companies uh, countries that are allied with the Western world okay so Iran doesn't dictate what their allies must do but they have sort of an understanding that if Iran is attacked this whole region explodes the whole world explodes really that's uh, that's sort of the understanding I've had for for the longest time Right for the longest time. Doesn't Iran have bases? Not going to end well. Not going to end well. Uh, Rickland, you're not making sense. Countries do things the U.S. doesn't want them to do all the time. Why do you call them proxies if that's the criteria you're using? Uh, not not on this level. Not on this level. Okay, what has Ukraine done in the last ten years that goes? It goes it's it, it is not it's something that they only decided to do it wasn't dictated by the United States initially in the in the West it was saying oh we we told Ukraine we gave them weapons initially they said they were only gonna send helmets then guns then tanks then this then this then then, then long-range uh, rockets right and meanwhile they've been coming out and saying Ukraine is firing into Russia without our approval. We never told Ukraine to fire into deep into Russia to attack Moscow. We never did, right? Meanwhile, we get audio of generals, German generals, talking about how they're going to help Ukraine to blow up bridges, <laughs> right? That's the difference. That's the difference. Uh, the fact that CIA uh, is the one behind the coup in Ukraine yeah CIA did the coup in 2014 Newland was handing out fucking cookies John McCain was there in, in the streets handing out money and cookies